Okay. Let us start this. This is called Reventure. I saw it on Steam. It basically sounds like a Groundhog Day like game, so. We shall see what this does, and it seems the uh, window capture decided to not work anymore. What is going on? Okay, hold on one sec. Change windows here for a minute, see if that... No? There we go. Had to change the capture method, I think. So, let me see if that's working right. Yep, there we go. Obtain some intense scenes that may make you jump out of your chair. You have a specially simple condition, e.g. epilepsy, heart condition, or any other. Select relaxed mode. You're all in for intense experiences and select the fearless mode. Horror game? Maybe? I do not know. This game saves automatically. Do not save when the little chibi is eating a pizza. Also, I need to plug my phone in real fast. Any button. Oh, I can't. Twitch. Enable? What does yes do? Um, no, we're not going to have Twitch options because I don't think I have some of that stuff even active on my thing. So let's see. Action, action, jump, jump. Screen music. Da, 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 anything? Nope. Okay. Everything started as a pretty normal day in Tim's life. you inside. Legendary sword to the west and fulfill your destiny. This item to protect you on your journey. Yay, shield! Not let me pass without a weapon. Can I make it up there? I don't think so. So do I have to jump over? I have to jump over my house. I don't think I can really fight it yet, so... What's this? Streamer mode. Tim called the hero agencies for steps to... Ah, okay. Maybe one day I'll be active enough to actually use those options, but... dangerous to go alone. Light as the wind in the hands of a worthy hero, let the weight of justice fall on the forces of evil. Da 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 da! Huh. I got the shovel! something there, but... I Am I too heavy to jump with the shovel? Okay. Ah, that stinks. Uh, I don't think I want to be here yet, but, uh, well... I seem to have screwed myself over because of how heavy this damn shovel is. Do 
not dig here. You have been warned. I seem to have found a dragon. Shield blocked the dragon flames, but was melted and pushed into his face, turning it into a beautiful but painful mask. <laughs> Ending 29 of 100. <laughs> Oh boy. Six days later, only 6.9% of heroes made it this far. Tim managed to remove the iron mask using brute force. He also removed his eyes, learned to feel his environment using his inner key. Let's go defeat evil. So now I'm blind? Shield again. Er, oh, my eyeballs are just hanging out of my skull. Okay. I should have known that was possible. Tim was so eager to try his new sword, he couldn't wait for some minion to appear and stab the elder at the other end of the cave. He also stole his wallet. What a moron. Ending one. It's dangerous to be near Tim. <laughs> oh, I am loving this game already. Four years later! Tim spent a long time in prison for that murder. After being released back into the streets, he considered changing his name in the options menu to improve his personal brand. Can I do that? I can do that. <laughs> Just cause I can. So question, can I jump out my back window or just climb in? I can climb into bed again. Okay, but it's not a... <laughs> it's not an ending. Okay. Can I make it back up here? Because I want to avoid picking up that shovel this time, if possible. Stabby stab! Or is this just going to be ending one again? Zintris removed the legendary sword from the stone just to put it inside a friendly guard. He was arrested and publicly executed under the charges of being an asshole. <laughs> Six days later. Zintris was a psycho and got what he deserved. The day after his execution, his brother decided to pick up where he left off and fulfill the prophecy. Okay, I can just pick up the sword. Oh, this is good. Please, Tinku. <laughs> Well, you know what we've got to do with it now. <laughs> Stab everyone and everything. Oh, 
All hail King Tinku. As the previous ruler finished his term, the kingdom entered an era of prosperity quite briefly because Tinku's idea quickly became popular. <laughs> Two years later. Tinku the Brief recovered from the injuries of the murder attempt to, s to spare his life he swore loyalty to the new king, much to his hum humiliation. And then I tripped on the rock! <laughs> Tinku tripped over a rock right after leaving his house and fell right on his face. The guard in front really questioned if this was indeed the hero the kingdom needed. <laughs> Shit happens. That same day... <laughs> Such a stupid fall. Tinku's face looked flatter than before. That's really saying something, given how pixelated it already is. He'll watch his step next time he goes outside. <laughs> and the sword went back to where it should be. Trouble again. <laughs> wow, I really sent him flying. Oh, I can't dig here. Can I merge with the guard and get a different ending? I think this is the same ending. that memory. Actually, I wonder. I think I need to leave my house without the shield for another ending, probably. Sword of Legend. Avoid the shovel. To something else. Oh, can't drown. So completely destroyed by the dragon. Thank God our remaining food supplies are safely stored underground. I got the hook claw. I can't. Okay, so apparently I can only use it on like those dirt walls we saw or whatever. Huh, 
interesting. Bombs. Am I going to eventually be over encumbered? I'm probably going to eventually be over encumbered. I'm going to stand right by this bomb and see what happens. Yep. Tiku was such a curious hero, that day he thought, what would happen if I stay close to this bomb while it explodes? Several burns and shrapnel fragments all over his body happened. <laughs> also just to ch whoop. Ending 28 of 100. shrapnel fragments in Tiku's skin really helped waking up early the next day. Oh, dear lord. Okay, can I be stabbed? Yep. Kill me. I need another ending. Tiku expected those little minions to be harmless, or at least to take only one heart of his life. Guess what? That's exactly what they took. Tinku's weak and little heart. Ending three. So now we've got one through five. Everyone in town knew Tinka wa Tinka was a heartless bastard, so the wound wasn't that bad for him. But maybe carrying a shield next time wasn't a bad idea after all. <laughs> ah, it's still Tinku. What do you know? Okay. Blah, 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 take the shield. Definitely getting heavier with every item I take. <laughs> That ending again. Nope. Ah, nothing over there. Hmm. You got the bombs. enough height to actually make any of these jumps this time? Nope. Does not seem like it. There's gotta be a way to drop these items. Nope, I don't have any other pallets unlocked, I guess. Oh, 
I guess, down here again to see what was behind the boulder I died by. Okay, I wasn't sure how far away I had to be for that. Oh, shoot, I didn't read that sign. Caution. Piranhas. Oh, joy. Run away! Nope. Instant I touch the water. Maybe Tinku couldn't read the sign. Maybe he did know what a piranha was. Maybe he was just an idiot. What he surely was, piranha food. <laughs> Ending seven. So I'm missing six somewhere in the middle there. Two weeks later. The guard found Tinku's body next to the lake and moved it home. His lucky hat was lost somewhere, though, so now everyone would realize his outstanding baldness. Huh, interesting that the, uh... The thing that killed me is gone now. Oh, that's a bird's nest up there. Just skip the shield this time and see what that does. So I like that that guard is just permanently dead now. that hole. Claw. There we go. This was what I wanted to do last time. Aha! Is something up there. Aiming the cannon to the west in case the dragon decides to strike again, but we're out of ammo. <laughs> Was not expecting that, honestly. Oh, I do not want to be here right now. What does this say? The shop. Totally 100% out of socks. Sorry, no stuff for you. Aha. You got the nuclear warhead. <laughs> Does this button do? It lowers me. Mysterious door. just too heavy to get up here. Curses. Cannon is aimed at the Dark Fortress for express delivery. Please don't touch it, the shopkeep. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to launch the nuke out of it, apparently. After getting tired of the traditional adventure tactics, Tinku decided to take a more direct approach to destroying the Dark Lord. <laughs> It was super effective. Airstrike number 27. <laughs> oh, I am loving this game. Tinko couldn't rest knowing they had rebuilt the fortress in just a month. This time he'd tackle the root of the problem.
I got the Sword of Legend again and again and again. I'm surprised there's no fall damage ending. Ignoring the shield. See what's over here now. Aha, a mountain. Oh, hey, I can use the body to climb. Interesting. Celeste reference. Hi, I'm Miguel, one of the creators of this world. I'm collecting strawberries here. Ah, uh, I don't want to stab him yet. Ah, uh, but I can't seem to get up there. Okay. What's down here? Macro mountain. So interesting. Soft gr Oh. I need the shovel for that. Faith can give you wings. Whee! <laughs> that is an ending. Without hesitation, Tinku jumped off the cliff. He knew he could make it if he had enough faith. But nope. He didn't have enough faith. <laughs> Ending 3-3. Three, three. Well, one-tenth of the way through. <laughs> after a video of his jumping... After vi that words. After a video of his jump going viral, Tinku had to stay home for some time to avoid all that trolling by young millennials. I can't tell if I am just old or injured. Sword of Legend, da 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 da. Uh, no hints, really? Also, I'm looking for the gallery so I can see what ending eight and seven or what five and seven were so I can get a rough idea of where six might be. Might have to go to the menu for that. Just died. Really? See, those these are bombs. I need that to progress either direction here. can actually do stuff. Hmm. Oh. Power without limits is sealed at the top of this temple away from the Dark Lord's reach. Okay, but before that... Ah, a trap. 
You found a hint. Warming up. So something with fire, probably. Oh, hey, this is beneath the uh, piranha area. <laughs> My blood is still there. You found a hint. Flow with the water. It you got the fishing rod. After picking up that fishing rod, Tinku felt the urge to go fishing. The minutes turned into hours, the hours into years, and the years into a dead princess who was never rescued. Ending 12 of 11. Okay, so I have a hint for six. Which is warming up, so something with fire. Tinku remembered the fishing that is with his dad every time he had piranha for dinner. No time for melancholy. Let's go find an adventure. Okay, so... Six has something to do with fire, and this is the closest fire to the beginning. So... We're going to go down again. And fall in the lava. A miscalculated jump resulted in Tinku falling into a lava pit. This was not the end he did wanted, but was surely the one he deserved. Yep, there it is, ending 6 of 11. So 7 was the piranhas. I think I might have an idea of where 8 was. Those third-degree burns left Tinku with a scarred face, but surely the princess would look past them. Go get her, you hero! Ah, uh, we're back to this look again. Okay, I can't proceed without the sword, so... Gotta at least get that at minimum. There's an egg up there now. to get to where I think ending 8 is. But actually, I want to go up. What was up here? No, I cannot. Step over to the altar to sacrifice your items. Ah, interesting. I see. Whee! Oh, I missed that. 
Falling into multiple rocks was painful. But Tinku was okay and ready to get back into the adventure. Wait, no, he wasn't. <laughs> yep, there's ending eight. Rock and roll. Alright, so I have one through eight. The Elder found Tinku's dead body and put it together with a spell. Tinku was a zombie now, with an insatiable hunger for adventure. Uh, I was hoping I might be able to eat him, but nope. Sword of Legend. not the thing I wanted to hit. Okay, so... Sacrifice my items. That does not persist. Good to know. Go get the shield and the hook shot, if possible. Whoop! Nope, don't want to go down there. Mm, yeah, this might be a problem. We're going to do it this way. Put claw. just going to take the damage. Wait, they sang something different. I should probably pay attention to that. Nope, okay. Now I want the shield. something there, but I can't really do much about that right now. Or, like, at all anymore. Oh, hey, there's a hint on that, uh, pedestal now. I found a hint! What is it? negotiated discount, so that has something to do with the shopkeep, probably. Only one of the signposts in this chamber lies. Chest on the left contains something perishable, the one on the right contains something dark. This wasn't the right lever. <laughs> well, we know that one wasn't mine. Well. The 
dark stone influenced Tinku to push the wrong lever, turning his body into a perfectly flat mat. Ending 44. Oh, that one's down there. <laughs> oh, Tinku is looking fun now. After Tinku somehow recovered, he decided to ignore the voice in his head, stop making extreme decisions, and instead aim for a middle ground approach. Oh dear lord. I am all wiggly now. Something. I got the hook I can probably make it up there again with the hook claw. See how to do it. So I could potentially make it here with all the items. Maybe. Nope. Disgusting creature couldn't resist the smell of delicious burger inside the chest. Even while the spike traps on the sides of the room sent previous a pretty obvious message. 38 out of 100. Those spikes filled holes in Tinku's stomachs, but not his hunger for adventure. Spiky Tinku. And I am actually going to get the shield this time. to jump. <laughs> and then sacrifice it all. Hmm. 
looks like I need six items total. There's a sign. Step over the altar. Okay. Wait a minute. I know where I am, and I don't have my sword anymore, damn it. I'm light enough now to actually... Yeah! You got a strawberry! You really have to love strawberries to climb a mountain for one. Tinku broke a leg on the way back, but that strawberry was totally worth it. Ending 24. Tinku was lost in Macro Mountain. What was wrong with that place? His distant cousin decided to go there to see if he could find him. Oh, who are we now? Lump. light enough with only the sword and the shovel to get it all over there. is an over-encumbered ending. With all this gear, Lump was ready for any challenge. Or so he was until his legs finally collapsed under the enormous weight. His last words were, I regret nothing. Ending 26. I knew there was an over-encumbered ending somewhere. Yes, hi, cat. After months of medical care, care that months of medical care paid by selling all of his items, Lump was ready again for adventure. Okay, so that's just gravely injured. Yes, I can. Sword. Oh, hey, there's a bird up there now. Okay. Minimum amount of items. Absolutely need the bombs. Go down here. Boom. Is that? Nope. I have to go back and do that one again. <laughs> There's a skeleton of my old body fishing. What does this button do? 
Ah, oh, that opens that, so I don't need the bombs. Looks like I need to remember to bring the hook shot with me here. Oh. Okay, so can't really do this one right now. Go back the other way here. Not really. I think that way leads to my death again. Okay. Learning. No, oh, but I can't get back up there now. <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Okay, what's the whoop? Is there food in this place, you know? Please stop using the barn for dirty business. We store our food here, you know? Is that shit? With all the food in the storeroom spoiled, everyone in the kingdom starved to death. On the other hand. Lump found an amazing hat inside one of the pots. Collateral damage. Nine months later. Lump woke up with a disturbing smile and his favorite hat next to his bed. Let's go find some adventure. I think I want the hook shot for what I want to try next. Yeah, that is the way I want to go. Except, okay, yeah, that does work. End of secret passage. Real end of secret passage. Okay, so that's just another way back here. Okay, good to know. Well then, something else I want to do then.
rub my face against all these walls because I don't know if there's actually anything in them. Okay, I gotta go look at that. I broke my leg, but I achieved my dream. Please let me rest in this place with my strawberries, your cousin. <laughs> okay, stab. Green Boy palette unlocked. I assume that's like... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. That's too much green. Okay, well... Time to see how much I can negotiate with the shopkeep. Lump was disappointed to find nothing at the mountain, so he rushed on the way back, jumping off the cliff. <gasps> Only a brutal impact with the ground would eventually calm him down. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. Uh, only 58.33% of heroes made it this far. Lump woke up with a terrible pain in his back, but his adventurous spirit demanded more adventure. Stupid adventurous spirit. <laughs> what the? This is a new one. Hi there, we're Re-Adventures devs. We're looking for Miguel. Have you seen... <laughs> That's what that update meant. Before I started this game, there was a new, uh, update on the game. Let me read, uh, where is it? Let me read this. March 12th, small update. A little surprise, version 9.0. Even though we created ReVenture with all the love in the world, we still see how everyday members of the development team are viciously killed. This is why we decided to add this little surprise. I assume this is the little surprise. Uh, yep, I just killed him. Well, that's okay, he wasn't that nice anyway. I see you feel somehow guilty now. Would you like to help us with a little something? Oh, which one do I want to pick? No, I just want to keep killing stuff. Oh, such a coincidence, me too. Wait, what? Negotiate. Don't take advice from old people. Watch your step. Cute little swords. Defy authority. Trial by combat. Yeah. Do feed the animals. Flow with the water. Kill some fish. Heavy is the burden. <laughs> Well, I was not expecting that, so... Okay, Tim, injured. Coolest hat ever. Injured. Lungo, spiked. Oh my god, what happened to you? Zombie, burnt. Injured. Hatless, burnt. Tinker, eyeless. Okay, interesting. It's not an ending. Hmm. I might have to go kill the dude again. Sword. Trouble. 
Oh, you know, maybe I have to bring the bombs back here. We'll try that next time. You know, you get to die just because I went the wrong way and you down deserve it. <laughs> There's our splat from falling down the mountain. still dead. Interesting. I wonder if uh, their surprise wasn't implemented properly. Should be soft ground. Ahoy! You found treasure! Well, not exactly. This chest contains the Dark Lord's pension fund. You may not be able to physically defeat him, but you've crushed his retirement plans. <laughs> Ending 62. Well, we're fifth of the way through all the endings. After he traveled to Macro Mountain looking for that treasure, that guy was never heard from again. His cousin decided to look for him. Now who are we? Hermaninoff, I think that says? Hermaninoff. I actually wanted to take the shovel, the sword, with me, too. I got the shovel! Now let's climb back up, because I forgot! Uh, gotta go around. Actually, you know what? There's something down there that doesn't need the sword, so... We're just going to do... Oh, wait, no, I have... Okay, there we go. And down we go. Oh, there's a hint over there. Ten. Deep down. I think I have an idea of where I'm doing this one. This might be the one I was thinking of doing. Yeah, do not dig here. You have been warned. This is probably ending 10, then. You're just shoveling all the way to the core? Magnificent pixels. Whee! <clears throat> Hermaninoff closed his eyes and remembered that treacherous signpost as he fell t into the bottomless pit. Ironically, since there was no bottom or impact, he just starved to death. Ending 10. Uh, so who are we now? Because I don't think we can be Hermaninoff anymore. <laughs> Nightmares about endless falls were pretty common in Hermaninoff's family. Hermaninoff woke up when he heard the guard outside. Okay. Or still Hermaninoff. Okay, so negotiate a discount.
might need to come back down here and grab the, what you call it, hook claw. Yeah, I can't jump high enough for that. the bullet what the cannon exploded violently sending Hermanenoff right into a rock using cannons was indeed a fast way to move around but not the safest one a 95% uptime guaranteed policy is not enough sometimes ending 17 of huh I wonder if that's random or or what? Hermanen offers millions from the canning company, but spent all of it on medical care and cosmetic surgery. Remember, Hermanenoff, these cannons have a 5% fail chance, so yeah, I think... <laughs> I think I got the lucky roll on that ending. Did I screw myself? Oh, wait. Really? Okay. I was going to be mad if I could not get up there. Found a hint. Meow. There is a button. Lava trinket. Ah, but I can't jump anymore. Does this mean I can... Aha! Aha! Well, we are getting somewhere! Maybe. Okay, what does this accomplish? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. This isn't exactly what I was going for, but we'll work with it. Actually... I can probably get back there.
still too heavy. Continue to learn. personnel only. Hmm. Maintenance personnel only. Stab. Dark Fortress. Only dark minions and burger delivery allowed. Ah, hey, there's where I splatted before. It's probably where that leap of faith was. What is over here? Over here is this. to say. Please do not try to rescue the princess while I'm away, the Dark Lord. Looks like there should be a boss fight here. Squish. No? No squish? You got the one ton anvil. <laughs> Armandinov could not resist the temptation of adding that sexy anvil to his inventory and fell right into the infamous anvil yard. He survived the fall for a few seconds, until the anvil crushed his adventurous skull into adventurous ID pieces. Ending 22, really? That early? Was that a nightmare? It felt pretty real. Armaninoff wasn't sure, but he decided to stay away from anvils for a while, just in case. <laughs> I need the sword. I am an anvil head. Yeah, 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 
yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see if I can stay light enough without grabbing that lava trinket. and make it up here. What did that do for me? something I'm not quite understanding about the hint. Ah. One, one of the creators of this. Just enjoying the view. Pal 8 unlocked. I still like the old one better. But, hmm. Can I not stab this man? Are you kidding me? Okay, good to know. Got a chicken. Which apparently lets me jump pretty far. But we know something's here. <clears throat> Hi there, we're Readventures Devs. We're looking for Juan. Have you seen him? Nope, didn't see him. He was in charge of Readventure 2. I hope he's alright. By the way, would you give us a little help with something? Yes. Thanks. Take a look at this. Oh. That opened up a window on my browser. Thanks for your interest in helping us. This is a compilation of ways you can support Pixelo in our quest to make awesome games and adventures. Card creator, tabletop creator. Join our Discord. No thank you. Century Adventures OTS. Okay, so... Well, that was a little disappointing, to say the least. So what does the chicken do for me? Wait. Means I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't. Oh. You know, I might know where just enough items are to sacrifice enough. You 
got the shield. Let's go grab the shovel. No question, was that pathway always there or was it just son of a bitch? Actually, I wonder, can I get up again while we're here? What is in here? Path of the hero continue. Son of a bitch. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's not the first... So, I can get the shovel instead of the sword. Interesting. Okay, let's go get the bombs from the bottom. Then we'll see what happens when we sacrifice enough items. Maybe. I might have to do the bombs from the other way. Yeah, I can't get up there that way, so I have to go the long way. Try to do it from this direction? Okay. You gotta remember my physics. Okay. Sacrifice the bombs. Madinoff finally got rid of all of his material possessions with no consumer products. The monster of capitalism had to move on to other worlds to devour. Ending 71? Uh, okay, I think I might try to go for one more ending. With no goods to fight for, the conflict stopped for a while, until the shopkeeper restocked every chest in the kingdom, preparing for Black Friday. See what kind of deals you can find, Hermaninoff. Okay, well, first thing I'm going to try to do is get to him with no items. Since I now know there is a hidden... Well, Nope, I guess I can't get over there without the sword. Unless I remember to jump. Whee! Splush. There we go. That's why all that wood is there. You have to get here without the hook thingy. Being a shopkeeper is so tough. Low wages, long hours, mean customers. And also the occasional serial killer that comes into your shop, stabs you, and steals all your stuff. Yep, there it is, ending nine. They got endings one through ten. Quarter of them all together. I'm halfway to where everyone has gotten to. Hermedinov's business with stolen merchandise wasn't working out the way he thought, so he woke up ready to look for an adventurous alternative. Uh, and that is actually where I think I will call this stream. Uh, this is a really fun game. I think I'll leave this one as a one-off and encourage people to go buy it and play it themselves, because this is fun. 
I don't want to spoil everything in it. So, we will switch to the ending there. Let me see if there is anyone. Oh, hi, Nomi. Game right as I'm ending. I was just going to see if there was anyone I could go raid. So, let's see. Who is... Why am I getting Echo? Okay. Who is online right now? Uh, da, 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 da. I think... Eh. Well, just mostly people I don't know, so... Yeah, I guess... This is just where I'm calling it. Uh, I mean, if you want to check out the uh, stream, the VOD should be up as soon as I end this, so... I will talk to everyone later. I might be back Thursday. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Bye!